Hi, today I'm preparing to go meet with the great Linus from the Linus Tech Tips channel. You know, the guy from the sad Linus meme. Make sure to subscribe to him because I'll be in his video. He wants to test something. We keep saying ground yourself when you want to touch bare electronics like computer parts because electrostatic discharge or ESD from your body can kill them. Linus wants to know how easy it is to kill some RAM memory modules by ESD. I mean, we keep picking them up and they don't die. Is it all a conspiracy? I'm going to borrow an ESD gun and shock Linus. I mean, uh, join him for testing. We will wear masks due to pandemic, of course, which means you can't see our mouths and I can't dub any voiceover on the video. <laughs> you better not take our videos and make your own voiceovers. Hi, I'm here with Linus and we are going to do things. Hi, Electrobull. I love your channel. You're awesome. Oh, thanks. You're awesome. No, you're awesomer. No, you're awesomest. No, you. No, you. <laughs> now we have done tons of testing with Linus already that you can watch over in his channel Linus Tech Tips. Link in the description. There were laughs, cries and tons of pain and suffering and damage. What we do is we charge our own bodies with the ESD gun to 10,000 to 25,000 volts and discharge from our finger to electronics and try to kill them. And although we killed some electronics by the gun directly, we couldn't quite kill them discharging through Linus's fingers. I'm gonna be real super careful. That's my promise. Just like I promised to my sponsors to uh, Express VPN. Wait, what, my what, what's going on here? This is my sponsor. This is no, my well, I, I have a sponsor too, you know. This is my sponsor. Fine, I'll do Sorry. mine at home. I keep using Express VPN because it's a reliable service that helps me get around locked content on YouTube, Netflix, and others. And on top of everything, it provides another layer of security for my internet communications. So find out how you can get three months of Express VPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash electrobook or clicking the link in the description. So, we tried our best with Linus to kill our rams and our best wasn't good enough. So I'm gonna see what it takes for us to kill this ram. <laughs> Got a new victim. I have a question for you. Is the heat spreader going to interfere with our ability to short a data line rather than a, a ground? Like it just seems to give us less access to the circuit board. Well, with the heat spreader, especially heat spreaders are connected to the ground, it means that if we zap that, it will definitely go to the ground and the board probably wouldn't die, which is what we want. But these but, are not connected to ground. I mean, if they are not connected to the ground, then they can jump to a random point. And in that case, it might be a data line and it could be to our advantage. Even with that on, I think all the data and address lines are exposed on the side of the board here. So we should be able to zap that. I'm thinking I'll connect these heat spreaders to ground and then try to find a data line then and just try to kill it. With your finger? Yeah, with my finger, yes. So this time <laughs> I get to hold the gun. Yeah, exactly. The rolls are switched. To make it reasonable, are you changing the voltage there? What? Don't change the voltage on me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> to make it realistic, I'm gonna connect the uh, heat spreader to ground, so we are assuming that it's l sitting on some conductive table because it would be the worst case. And then I zap it with my finger to a data or address line. That would be the strongest discharge and hopefully will kill the RAM. Let's do it. So what Linus is gonna do is to charge my, my body with, with what? What did you do there? Go ahead, I'm not touching any other ground, am it's, I? It's just 12, it's just 12. I'm not, I'm oh, good. <laughs> okay, go ahead, charge me up. Okay. So now I'm trying to find a data line, hopefully. Ouch! Oh, it was painful. I told you it was painful. I, I feel your pain now. I did it at 20. Oh my you god, 20? 20. No. <laughs> well, let's try it now. I think I, if I'm not wrong, maybe I jump to a data line. Let's see if it's dead or not. Uh, the, first the nearest one, one to the socket is definitely is working, good. so. Ah, uh, it works anyway. No luck. Well, I mean, I was lucky. I get to do this again now. Vengeance is mine. Now we switch sides and we think this will make the RAM fail. <laughs> no, well, that's not why we're doing it. It's just so <laughs> cable management. Okay. You know, I try to zap multiple times. It's not gonna kill my watch, is it? Okay. Here, charge me up. Oh my God. Oh, yes. I mean, oh no. That's a data line, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Okay, again. I'm gonna zap as many. Ouch! 
I, I think it's just jumping to the ground. I'm not getting any data lines. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Let's try it. I mean, You're how strong here. can this thing be? There we are. It's working. It's working. Damn it! <laughs> it's great. He was like, how about for my channel, we do a video where I keep trying and we <laughs> definitely kill it with a finger. And I'm like, fill your boots. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it one way or another. Cause it's not easy. I know, it seems like they are actually designed not to die that easily. That's it, surprising. <laughs> it, it really does seem like, I mean, based on what percentage of the pins we know are data, mm -hmm. it seems like we've zapped it enough times that if it's random, we should yeah. have hit one by now. Yeah. But maybe it is something about the design of this makes it more likely to jump to a ground pin. I don't know. But I didn't expect it to be that good. Damn it! Okay, what do we do now? Well, it's not exactly through a finger. Yeah, that's cheating. That's not a finger at all. That's a much smaller point. No, you will still charge me, but it will go through the metal. So we're assuming that you've got a metal freaking spatula that you're working on your computer with. I don't know, man. <laughs> well, I just want to be more accurate, so I know mm. that this edge jumps directly to the... Fine, I'll do it with my finger. <laughs> I just want to make sure that we zap the data line for sure. <laughs> This is way more fun. I can see why <laughs> I can see why you were having so much fun in my video. <laughs> exactly. I hold all the power. It's like, oh yeah, got that big power energy. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna continue zapping. Like there seems to be a bunch of data address lines there. Charge me up. We are gonna kill it one way or another. Oh, where's the ground? The ground is. The Ouch! <laughs> you had to know that was happening. Come on. I sometimes forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, where is that data line I was looking at? That one. Ouch! My god. Why do we have to do this? Well, we don't have to. But we have the opportunity. <laughs> Did you get it? Could you tell? Like, are you trying to watch exactly which one arcs? I'm shaking so much. <laughs> I don't know where I'm. it's zapping. Oh, right, let's try it. You're gonna have to press the uh, button there. Oh, right. <laughs> this is a fun toy. Oh mm. yeah, it's working. It's alive. Why don't these just die? This is the same question I was asking myself for the last two hours. Man. <laughs> Especially because the first one was so easy to kill. Like, remember? One shot. I think we directly just zapped it with the gun though, right? Maybe they designed the gun stronger, so with the margin, so that if the gun passes, for sure a human body will pass too. If we have a curved, blunt object, even if the very, very tip is closest to a data pin, it could easily jump out somewhere else if the ground pin is a path of least resistance, correct? Yeah. That's why they spread out all the ground pins. It makes sense. Uh, maybe maybe if I just connect it directly to a ground pin? Oh, so wait, if you connect it directly to a ground pin... So it's assuming that the, the, the thing is already plugged into a computer. So it's connected to the ground mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna touch it with my hand. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Is that cheating or do you want to complain about that too? Uh, as long as you're sure it's on a ground pin. How can I convince you that I'm doing it properly? One thing we can do, we can uh, scratch the surface of the ground. Yeah, that would work. That way we are sure that we are connected to the ground. As we mentioned in the video over on the Linus Tech Tips channel, by having the module grounded, there, it's, a, it's a stronger shock that goes through it, basically. Is that fair to say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it is not connected to the ground, only the little charge on the board is misplaced. But connected to the ground, the whole ground moves around. So, okay, let's hope it's connected to the ground now. I, I scraped that so that hopefully the ground is connected better only to the ground now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave it at the edge of the table, right? So I'm gonna Wait. grab it like this. Oh, I see. <laughs> just a bunch of fingers, just okay. grab so everything. I'll just go right here, right? No, it's... I'm going. Ouch! <laughs> okay, that was painful, but oh, wait. Okay. Oh. okay, let's pitch it up. Well, pitch it up? Pitch it up, not pitch it up. Well, oh, it, it, listen to what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> hey, if it dies from falling on the ground, that's cheating. Now we won't know what killed it. If it's dead, I, I expect it. It could be the fall. Ready? <laughs> nope, it's alive. It's alive! What else can I do? Just ramp up the voltage? 
I mean, you can do anything you want. I can help you with that. <clears throat> okay. ah, what's a good voltage nowadays? Uh, I did 20. <laughs> sure, let's do 20. You know what else we could do? I mean, we were reading about this before we worked on the first video and as little as 10 volts should theoretically be enough. Mm -hmm. So maybe what we should do is like 1000 volts, but like hold it for a long time, like really manhandle it. Like touch every single contact. Just have your finger just like. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> yeah, let's try that. You we can put that? it on a bigger frequency too, like 10 hertz. Sure. 1000 volts. Of course, this 1000 volts is pulsed, so it's not a continuous DC 1000 volts. Otherwise, I would be fried right now. Is it 1000 volts? It's 1000 volts. It's 1000 volts, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna just touch the whole. Oh, the voltage is way more! No, so I, <laughs> I don't feel Do anything feel at all, no? Yeah, it's definitely going. Is it? Yeah. So in this way, static electricity can absolutely be like a silent killer. You might not even realize you zapped your hardware. Yeah, it's a thousand volts at 10 hertz and I don't feel anything at all. Let's see if a thousand volts more continuous discharge killed it. The problem is that with my finger being on so many pins, the energy might spread and not kill it. It would be funny if it actually killed it. It didn't. Didn't. It's even funnier if it didn't because now we get to turn the voltage back up. <laughs> Let's set it to a more tolerable voltage so I can just go like six kilovolt. So we are doing six kilovolts, but we are doing it at 10 hertz and more continuously. 10 hertz. Okay, yeah. let's go. Okay, this is still probably gonna hurt. Uh, hopefully not as much. Ouch, it is hurting, damn it. Ow, 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 come on. You better kill it. Ah, ow, ah, ow. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <sighs> I hope it's dead, really. If you guys were wondering, it's even better in person than on YouTube. <laughs> and the pain is not hammed up for the camera. It hurts exactly as much as he says it hurts. It's not, it's not dead. <laughs> mm, what do we do now? Amp it up again? Uh, okay, technically that's not amping it up, is it? Volting it up. Hey! <laughs> yeah. oh, I got one! Yeah, you're right. One extra point for you. Why doesn't it die? That's very strange. <laughs> I can't think of why, you know how much I've done ESD testing in my life and how easily I've killed boards before and this thing with no protection is withstanding all that discharge is just annoying. Just pick the voltage you enjoy. The voltage I enjoy, 69. Six, doesn't, well, doesn't go over 25, sorry. All right. I, I, I can't, I don't, I don't have it in me to set it to a higher <laughs> one. You set it. Okay, you set I'll it do and I'll 20. You're gonna do 20, <laughs> okay. One we, are, hertz. we are done being reasonable. This is 20 kilovolts, one hertz. Are you ready? <laughs> I hope it doesn't hurt. Ow! <laughs> let's hit it again. Well, let's see if it's dead. <laughs> it's hopefully, so you wanna hopefully, try it. Hopefully it's dead, I don't wanna try that again. For the love of God, be dead. Please, have some mercy. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> I don't think it's gonna die. The protection is just too good. It's almost like the engineers who design computers, like do it for a living. We're gonna remove the heat spreader and get to the signals better. So, you know, the heat spreader is actually helping this thing because it's covering most of the signals and chips. And if you touch it, uh, it is less likely to touch a sensitive area and will most likely will jump to ground. But without the heat spreader, maybe my finger can glow, get close to it like a, sensitive signal and kill it. The only trick is when you remove the heat spreader, you gotta make sure you don't um, pop off a memory chip. <laughs> oh, damn it, I popped a memory chip. See, ESD killed our RAM, as you can clearly see. All right. Uh, did it pull it off? Yeah, it oh did. Pulled off most of them, actually. <laughs> so far, we have been unsuccessful in killing the RAM. I was expecting it to be much easier, but no. <laughs> but don't raise your hopes. You always ground yourself to make sure you're not charged on your body, because if you touch electronics with it, you will very likely, well, apparently not very likely, but you may end up killing it, and it <laughs> will be an expensive death. Yeah, and likely is sort of the word I would not, I'm gonna yeah, not gonna it's, use it's, anymore. It's, <laughs> apparently from our experience, it's not likely to kill it. At least, I don't know, with Computer the setup memory we have. anyway. Yeah, with the setup we have, gun connected to my body and my body jumping to the RAM, it's not killing it. But the gun directly jumping to the RAM, it's much easier to kill the RAM. Now we can see my beautiful assistants here. 
is trying to remove the heat spreader by heating the heat spreader and the glue will come off without raising all the chips with it. <laughs> Yay! Well, let's make sure it still works. I'm not gonna let you cheat. This poor memory. Oh, it's alive, huh? <laughs> what you doing? You're not planning any evil deeds, are I'm, you? I would never plan any evil deeds. Well, let's do 12 now that everything is exposed. Maybe you are in a better shape to kill it in a more reasonable way. There's no way you're gonna be able to hit that like that. It's not so, so blunt. Well, no, I was zapping this ouch, pull up resistor there. <laughs> <laughs> Just one discharge, one and a half actually. But let's see. Nope. Well, I think it's just probably not enough voltage. That's, That's probably not the problem. <laughs> okay, put it on 20K. You want 20K? Sure. Okay, your wish is my command. Okay, ready? Okay. Is it 20? Now it is. What is it jumping to? What's going on? You have your hand on the table. Oh, I was charging the table. Ouch! Okay, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. Let's try another one. Ah! <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> Are you not done yet? No, I'm gonna kill it no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. All right, I want, I want to get in on this action too. Okay. No, no, don't press All it right, before yeah. you hit oh, me. Oh, you're right, you're right, okay. I was always doing that. <laughs> yeah, it was totally unnecessary. <laughs> mm. ah, okay. <laughs> I don't think it's dead. I don't know what I would do if it's not dead now. It's dead! It's dead! Yes! <laughs> All we needed to do is to raise the voltage to 20 kilovolts. And zap it like eight times. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is theoretically possible to do in the real world. Yes, it is. So touching, say, computer parts without ESD protection is like playing Russian roulette with them. It might not be very likely, but it can kill them. So at least discharge your body touching ground before touching them. Yes, they will kill your RAM. <laughs> you saw it here first. Yes. Brought to you by... Uh... Some random companies. No, ah! it's ExpressVPN, it's mine. <laughs> it was a very fun day with Linus. He's such a great guy and has a great team. Make sure to watch his side of the video and subscribe to his channel for awesome tech tips. And thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Thanks to ExpressVPN, I can connect to internet through a different country by rerouting my connection through one of their many servers around the world. Not only ExpressVPN masks my IP address from annoying tech companies trying to collect my data, it unblocks shows and movies that are only available in other countries. For example, you want to watch the Grizzlies, but it's not available in Canada. You connect to ExpressVPN through US, refresh, and there you have the Grizzlies, as well as a ton of other content you can find using ExpressVPN. And without a VPN encrypting your data, your internet service provider can see all the websites you visit, even if you use incognito mode. Even in incognito! In some countries, they even store logs of websites you visit for two years. And in some countries like America, they are legally allowed to sell your data. So make sure to check expressvpn.com slash electroboom to find out how you can get three months free. So you can watch all the new shows you want while staying protected. And thanks for watching.